Good afternoon, everyone. This is Meg at Chasing Retro, and today I am so excited to be able to share with you the flip through of the finished strawberry journals. There are two that will be listed in my shop tonight. I'm not exactly sure what time, just um, make sure that you're following my shop and then you'll get a notification if you have set your Etsy to that uh, when they're available. Uh, I've got a lot to do today, so I'm going to try to video these and then get the listings ready throughout the afternoon and list them tonight. So there are two available. They are both sig single signature fabric covered, flexible, made out of a recycled Amazon envelope, and they measure six inches wide by about nine and a quarter tall, sewn in here. Uh, and then they each have, I think, right at 20 pages. So folded, that would be uh, 40, and then back in front, that would be 80. They are jam-packed, no pun intended, <laughs> with tons of strawberry ephemera, journaling cards, tags, and other fun goodies. So we'll start with this one. I don't yet know what I'm going to call these. I might just call it um, Calico Strawberry Journal and Gingham Strawberry Journal. That'd probably be the best way to do it. I decided not to give them official names this time. So on the outside, this is vintage calico fabric in this tiny, tiny, cute strawberry print. And then I've added a separate calico ruffle. And then this is from a vintage napkin and I cut it out and I applicate it onto red and then onto the cover. And the bow or the tie closure is sewn in. So it's permanent. That's what the back looks like. You can see the top. Inside, I've lined it with a vintage gingham fabric and then some vintage lace as a pocket. And then we have a tag here and a while you were out card. And this is a vintage strawberry ad that I have glued down to and then sewn onto Kool-Aid dyed paper. This is a wallpaper image from Taylor Made Journals. I'll try to list all of the digitals that I used down below. But she had a wallpaper image that was like a kitchen wallpaper and that had strawberries and blooms on it, so I added that. And this is another one of her images. This is a fruit wallpaper. Here's a fabric flip using a variety of strawberry colored fabrics and some vintage lace at the top. And then here we have a napkin. I think this is a napkin decoupage that I got from Mardell and I made it into a pocket. And then a lot of these goodies are from Happy Mail. You might remember seeing these. A little strawberry shortcake card and then a secret journaling spot inside of this coin wrapper. This is a sheet of black writing paper. And I've put a black and white strawberry on the back. This is from a 1980s, uh, pretty large, like eight by 12 inch uh, strawberry shortcake storybook. And I've put one of these in each of the journals as well. Actually, I've put two in each. One was the more whimsical style of strawberry shortcake, which I believe, I think she turned more that style in around 1983. And then I have a late seventies strawberry page in here as well, where she looks a little more holly hobby, if you will. Here's an, a digital that I have just glued on top of this engineering paper. We have a heart doily a ruffle here. This is from a vintage magazine, and to bolster it, I've sewn it onto another page on the back. Doesn't that look yum? And this is an, the other page. It's sort of a botanical floral page. You can see it better on the other side. A little Steno page or a little mini notepad page and I stamped the strawberry here. This is some art tissue dyed paper that I did and I drew strawberries on first with white wax. That's why they're showing up. And then I sewed on a red velvet tab and then I put this little cute charm with a bulk pen. 
This is just a receipt and I stapled on a little ribbon here. Tucked into here, we have a couple of journaling cards. This is a cover of Cook's Illustrated. It had beautiful strawberries on it. On this side, I did a little cluster with a strawberry and some eyelet. And then we have some, a tag made with the vintage wallpaper I got from Happy Mail. And then one of the vintage invitations. These are still listed in my shop if you're interested. And a little Strawberry Girl Digital. Isn't she amazing? And Monopoly Money. Here's another digital that I've put on the corner of that page. This is from Ideals Magazine. And I've sewn it onto a stationary page that I created in Canva. Here is a Hallmark postalette that I've sort of incorporated into the signature. And then we have a little decorated coin envelope. There is not anything in this envelope, but there is in some of the others. I'll check some goodies in here for you. Extra goodies, you'll see that in a moment. So here's the more 1970s strawberry shortcake page. And then we have a couple of journaling cards. These are reproductions from some antique images. And then here's a little uh, soda label. A half sheet of scrapbook paper here. And I've sewn a little red ribbon down the side. This is some vintage pink computer paper. And I did a little stamped collage, I guess, right there. And this is one of the little paper strawberries that I got from Mardell. Is that not the sweetest thing? And a little notepad page. And this is an entrance card, um, sort of a, a way to keep track of your clients, I think. And I just did a little cluster with some string and a vintage image. And then here's a card, journaling card. This is from a sewing book, and I backed it with some scrapbook paper. We have a pink page here, and here's one of the dangles. This is another page that I created in Canva. It looks like a little tablecloth with a doily on it. And then in the center, I have one of my pocket folders, and you can see that I have put beads at the bottom of the ties. This is just a stamped piece of paper for you to journal on. This is from a vintage book about glassware, and this was all about strawberries. And then this is just a little digital that I found of jar labels, and I turned it into a little book. Here's a fabric tag using some of the fabric that I got in Happy Mail adorable fabric. And then here's the invite. I got this in Happy Mail as well. Beautiful salmon pink envelope. And then an altered guest check. Here's a little die cut for journaling on. And another one of those strawberry uh, glassware cards and a recipe card for those shortcakes. And then another, this is an embroidery image that I've fussy cut and put on there. A little digital. Here's a strawberry blossom. And this bag, included in both of these journals, all of the little extra ephemera and goodies uh, that I had left over or thought you might like to add to decorate your journal, I've put into these little green bags. And I've decoupaged an image on the front of a, from a vintage cookbook. Here's the other half of the postalette and I've just put a little tea bag tag there. This is from what you see here, a vintage sheet 
and um, it's unraveling a little bit, but that's fine. I thought the colors were perfect with this journal. And then here's a floating pocket. I didn't want to glue it down because I like the back. And I put a little journaling card in here and a vintage ad that I've seen around. Another little cluster here. This is a full page pocket and inside we have another recipe and an image of a man planting strawberries. Here's a fussy cut image right here on the back of this receipt. And you saw me make these the other day. These are the little file folder pockets and I've embellished the front with a cluster or a applique, I guess you'd call it, and put some little journaling spots inside. Stapled a little image right here. I'll put a little border on this page, a little fold out. This is a piece of a strawberry shortcake bed skirt, authentic from the 80s. <laughs> I made it into a little tab. Here I have stamped very sweet. And this is another piece of that bed skirt. This was the trim and I added some um, rick rack. And then here is a little pocket tag with some strawberry, a strawberry ticket in here and a regular ticket. And this adorable little journaling card and this invitation or birthday, sorry, birthday card. Vintage Hallmark. And then we have a side pocket or a corner pocket rather. And I don't remember where I saw this idea, but I loved it. I just sewed some strips of paper onto the corner of an index card. And here's another one of the vintage gift wrap tags and another recipe card trifle. And then here we have a day spring card inside here with the Bible verse on it from Ruth. And then last of all, here is a little jam tag and journaling card. Isn't that so gorgeous? And a vintage recipe card and an article out of a magazine that I put onto cardstock. All right, so this is the Calico Strawberry Journal. Here is the gingham strawberry journal. I decided to embellish the corner, the edge of this one with some eyelet to bring in the eyelet that was here. I think it turned out very cute. Another one of those same ads in the front on Kool-Aid paper. And then while you were out and a journaling card. The pockets in this one is made from this vintage pillowcase. Here's another one of the wallpaper images, just like the other one had. There's a little cluster here. A staple digital up top. The postalette. As you'll see, these are very similar, but just slightly different. A coin envelope. Embroidery book page put a plain pink page on the back and I put a stamp and here is the art tissue dyed paper. One of the strawberry shortcake pages. Strawberry digital here, here and a little tab. This is from a family circle magazine from the eighties. I got this in happy mail a while back. You can't really see much of it, but there is a strawberry cover. And this is one of the transfer patterns from a work basket magazine, Strawberry Picker. A fabric flip. 
upside down decoupage pocket. Another little ad for strawberries that you can order by mail. And a dic dictionary definition. This is from Ideals Magazine. Here's a cluster on this pocket. And an invite. And a journaling card. And a little strawberry. A journaling on the back of. And this is an image from a um, 1950 family circle, I believe. Beautiful image. Full page image and I didn't want to lose any of it. So I spread it across both pages. Very sweet. There's the vintage computer paper with the embroidery digital and some gift wrap, a gift wrap tag, recipe card, and notepad page. This is a page I got from in Happy Mail, Strawberry Pickin' Time, and then a piece of the Strawberry Shortcake Dust Ruffle. Another ad, this one's for buttermilk biscuits and how to turn them into shortcakes. Here's the 70s strawberry shortcake and another one of Mardell's little strawberries there. A doily. Here is the other dangle. It's a little 3D strawberry. Just put a piece of punch trim there. Here we have a fabric tag, Monopoly money, the strawberry shortcake invite, another article from a magazine, how to make a strawberry barrel. A beautiful journaling card. This is a reproduction of an antique image. Here is a magazine, or this might have been a cookbook image and then an altered guest check. And then here you'll see the bead dangles have red, green, white, and pink. Put ribbon on the edge of that page. Just a little decoration there. Here's the velvet tab on the bottom of this Hungry Jack and another dangle. And then two journaling cards. This could also be a, a label or some sort of a sign or not sign. What am I trying to say? Like a book plate type thing if you want to place that. And then an index card that I altered and two more journaling cards. And here's a cluster here. Black and white writing paper with a strawberry. Here's a jam tag and a stamped piece of green paper. And this is a magazine image that I just sewed down onto cardstock. This is a piece from that Strawberry Shortcake Dust Ruffle. We have a hidden journaling spot in here. And a gift wrap tag. And the greeting card from Day Spring with the verse about from Ruth. Here's the little jar label that I made into a booklet. And then the birthday card from Hallmark. And a tag. So this scrapbook paper is sort of shiny. You can see it. It's so cute. Here's a full page pocket. And inside here we have a recipe page from a church cookbook. Another strawberry blossom. Here's the file folder pockets. Pocket folder, I guess you would call it. And two little journaling spots in there.
our tissue dyed paper. Here's a cluster. This is a floating pocket. Like I said before, I didn't want to nail it down or <laughs> glue it down because I liked the back. So I just left it floating. And then we have a journaling card, a flash card, and a reproduction soda label. A little tea bag tag, engineering paper. The adorable little strawberry girl digital and a journaling card that came with the scrapbook pack. Here's the bag of extra goodies. You see there's lots of fun things in there to add to your journal with. And I'm going to slide that down a little bit. Last but not least, the last pocket has this beautiful digital and this reproduction card and the tag with the pocket with a little strawberry ticket. All right, guys, so like I said, these will be in my shop tonight, late afternoon, early evening, sometime in that area. I wanna head over and I appreciate, as always, you watching. This has been a fun little project. Um, the next journals that I do, I will probably do more of a journal or craft with me. These, I was just trying to get these made and in the shop. My shop is in desperate need of restocking, so I wanted to get these done quickly. So that's why there were no more videos other than just the one tutorial. But I appreciate you watching this flip through. I hope it gave you some good ideas for journals of your own. And we'll talk to you next time. Bye.